Amanda. Amanda. Amanda Adams. Sold. Sold. Hi, I'm Tony from A-List Video and I'm talking to David Freeman of Amanda Adams Auctions about their forthcoming auction on Sunday, August the 17th. Got a lovely antique French uh, bull sideboard. Um, probably mid 19th century. We're estimating around about uh, six to eight thousand dollars for that one. Also, on top of the uh, sideboard is a really nice French uh, pier clock. Also, bull inlaid. One of the things I really like in the auction is this fantastic uh, Georgian um, long case clock. Um, probably around about 1840. It has got a really interesting moon face. It's the original finish on it. Uh, so this is around about 180, 190 years old. And look at the quality of the clock. I think we're only estimating six to eight thousand dollars. There's a lovely French uh, central uh, de uh, desk. Probably late 19th century. Nice inlaid top. Some nice uh, china, <laughs> French, English china in the cabinets there. These are interesting. A profoundly deaf customer brought in some pictures for David to appraise of some furniture she had. That eye? Oh, so that's eye. So it's, it's that one there. Can you see that one there, Tony? Yes. Yes. That should bring six to eight hundred dollars. So that one Here should be okay. Here is the in the auction. So we can sell. But along with the furniture, she also had some really interesting paintings. And the European, I can't decipher. Uh, the names on the paintings, but they are lovely quality. Be interesting to see how well they go. I've only estimated one to two hundred dollars each. Lovely uh, Pro Heart up there, previously sold by us a few years ago. Pro Heart, famous uh, Broken Hill artist who uh, died in 2006. Lovely man, iconic Australian artist. We'll just come around this section here. Some nice uh, inlaid uh, late Victorian furniture. This, is, this painting here is interesting. I find that an interesting work of art by a famous Australian artist, Haywood Veal. A, a scene painted in 1953. It was exhibited at the Piccadilly Art Gallery in London in 53. It's a lovely bronze. And we're attributing this to Guy Boyd. Just have a look at the face. Just the quality of the features. The owner said there was a signature on it, but it's a lovely early uh, bronze. And, and she is heavy. I'd imagine she would weigh 150 to 200 kilograms. Um, some nice artwork by Sarah Faulkner from the Raw Studios. Uh, Mirka Mora, well-known Australian artist. This one's really interesting, the David Boyd up the top there. I think it'd be a great investment long-term because David Boyd now uh, was born in 24, he's 84 years old, he's not painting anymore, and his works will only increase in value. Have a look at this. Love me. Yes. This is a genuine 1989 Rickenbacker guitar. This was made in April 89. Lots of interesting Satsuma in the auction. Nice bronzes. That's a, an Austrian bronze from the 20s of a little religious Jewish boy dancing. There's, there's always more cross in every auction we have more cross. So this one here, Polly Corton. And this is also a lovely work. Have a look at that. Isn't that, isn't that fantastic? It has a look of a, a thing that was made just recently, but this was made in 1957. Uh, nice work by Robert Greaves, famous uh, Melbourne artist who only died the last couple of years. Horace Brodsky lino cut from about 1960, 1916. Sorry, 1916. Uh, these are interesting. Do you like these, Tony? These are by Bernard Rook, uh, famous English potter. Amari wares, some Chinese ceramics, some Klaasani wares. That's a really interesting piece of jade, antique jade, and it's been carved and incised, and that's the lid to it. You don't come across these too often. This is a Australian fiddleback Blackwood Rojo Arts and Crafts desk with the original brass handles. This was made for an order back in about 1905, and if you look at the quality of the timber, the fiddleback timber on it, it's very hard to get a piece of this quality and of this standard in fiddleback blackwood. We've estimated six to eight thousand, but it is an exhibition piece. It does belong in a museum. 
And this is a really nice French <laughs> Brule Pier cabinet, antique one as well. From the same house, the other cabinet came out and the long case clock. It's a beautiful piece of furniture. We've got some nice interesting sterling silver in there. Follow me around here. Do you like the colour of this walnut double ender settee with a cameo back? Look at the lovely carving on it as well. Oh, this is a nice piece. <laughs> Back in the early 90s, these used to sell for three to four thousand dollars. They have come down, and you could probably pick something like this up for eight hundred to twelve hundred dollars. So it's good value, and it will come back into fashion. Some nice paintings by Neil Douglas. Uh, got a big collection of caskets and uh, little tea caddies in this auction. A lot of them have got the original mixing bowls as well. This is Coromandel. That's a fairly exotic timber. Original zinc lining on it. This one is a wonderful French uh, mantel clock with the original base inlaid, inlaid with mother of pearl, with bull, brass, a few bits of ivory. But look at the look at the condition and quality of this. Fully restored. And this is of international standard because you don't come across these in Australia. I think we've only got seven to nine thousand dollars on it, and you'd have to pay ten thousand pounds in England for a clock like this. A lovely uh, burl walnut inlaid loo table, lots of Georgian sterling silver, uh, photographs, sterling silver candlesticks for all the carnival glass lovers around Australia and internationally. We've got a very big carnival glass collection. We've got over 120 pieces of carnival glass in this auction. I haven't found this one at all. So this might be a rare one, we're not sure. The other side, here we are. Beautiful. Lovely. Great colours. That's nice. Along here, we have got an interesting collection of collector's watches. Sorry, I locked it. <laughs> Lots of estate jewellery from different estates. Some rare pieces here. A rare little 1937-38 gold shider bust of a little boy. Isn't he, isn't he adorable? We have a, quite a few pieces of gold shider in the auction. If anyone's after some really big paintings, these are about eight foot by four foot each. This is nice, it's an antique 18th century Chinese litter jar. These are nice too. <laughs> These are antique miniatures, miniature pieces of furniture. Mahogany, so this is about 160, 180 years old. Whole collections of Wedgwood, year plates, Christmas plates, Hushton Roofer Christmas plates. Walk this way, <laughs> just follow me and we'll show you more. Lots of artwork, interesting artwork for your collections. Since, since you've uh, pointed out to me in one of the first videos that we used the word nice 26 <laughs> times in 10 minutes, I've decided no longer to use that word nice. No more nice. No more nice. <laughs> Um, just Mr. Nice Guy, that's all. <laughs> Along here, some early uh, etchings by Frank Sepp. You can see... In fact, it's not Frank Sepp. It's Sepp Frank. <laughs> Vanity Fair prints along here. Original ones from the 1870s, 1880s. This is superb. This is a lovely work by Arthur Grenfell Haig. An English artist who specialised in painting horses and thoroughbreds. And look at the quality of the work. This is an exhibition piece. One was just recently sold, a small one less than half the size, in a London auction room for the equivalent of $8,000. Hello? A mini dinosaur. Well, uh, aren't the chickens related to dinosaurs? Yes. They're the closest living relatives of dinosaurs. So uh, this is a bit of a biology lesson for you, all you antique lovers out there. Amanda had a... Uh, Amanda... <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you look, there's carnival glass. <laughs> Goldshot, a group of nuzzling horses. There's my phone. Wait a minute. You didn't tell me my tie wasn't qu quite right. Your tie's not straight, David. <laughs>